This is Anglia Tonight. The news from where you live here on ITV1. It's exactly three years until the opening ceremony of the London Olympic Games and with Hadley Farm in Essex hosting the BMX event, the county is becoming something of a hotspot for the sport. Today the Olympic Supremo Lord Coe has been at the new centre in Braintree as part of a tour of the region promoting a number of events coming up this weekend. Our Essex reporter Tom Barton caught up with him. It's just three years this weekend until the opening ceremony of the London Olympics. And at this BMX park in Braintree, the landmark holds particular significance. Because just a few weeks after their new track was opened, they've got a very special visitor. We come on a Wednesday to race. OK, and weekends? None other than the Olympic legend and London 2012 boss, Lord Coe. I thought it was really exciting because I knew that he won the Olympics about 20 years ago, so... I was really excited to meet him. He's really inspirational and I think it's been a good boost for the club as well to have someone as famous as him down here. Why do you think he's down here? Because he's famous. And why do you think he wanted to see your BMX track? Because um, he's never been down here before. And do you think he liked it? Yeah. Well, 45 miles down the road in Stratford, the Olympic site is rapidly taking shape. Here in Braintree, so are the Olympic hopes of some of the youngsters. 2012, hopefully. Do you hope to maybe try and compete in the Olympics? Is that? Yeah, hopefully. That's why I'm on this team to try and get better and do it. Hopefully, if I keep at it, if not the next one. So what does Lord Coe make of this new facility? I mean, this is an extraordinary club. Um, a great example of partnership between the local authority and, and the club and, and some sensible funding and lots of opportunities for youngsters. And BMX is actually where a lot of young people are really at in terms of sport. It's got that extreme element as well, which excites them. Last year we invested £2 million in sports facilities across Essex to make sure that we delivered a real legacy from the 2012 Games in getting more people active in sport. And we invested £50,000 in this course, uh, which enabled them to completely rebuild it, demolish the old course, start from scratch, and it's now uh, a British national standard. Lord Coe was also visiting Comberton near Cambridge and Bury St Edmunds as part of his tour of the region. It looks like our part in the 2012 Games is truly out of the starting gate. Tom Barton, Anglia News, Braintree. Fantastic. Three years from this weekend, it'll be the opening ceremony of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Today, Lord Coe, chairman of the organising committee, was visiting sites in this region. He believes more countries will want to set up training camps here in the run-up to the Games. They're off and running at the Braintree BMX track. Lord Coe there to meet the young riders of the future in what's now become an established Olympic sport. The start of a day that would also take him to Bury St Edmunds and Comberton in Cambridgeshire.